Hi everyone and welcome back. It is Tuesday, 5th of September. We have very important Jupiter Habitat gone retrograde in the sign of Taurus, the house of value, the house of resources, the house of money, the house of possessions. Now, some of you are going to be seeing something this week. Something very positive can happen. Something could be coming back to you. Why is it coming back to you? Well, we have to keep in mind all the other um, energetic bodies that we have retrograde. We've already talked about them and what that means combined. So something of, of high value high quality is going to be making its way back to you all this week. Now, you're going to receive something. You're going to be happy about it. Now, the reason is that this is happening is because you have shifted your perspective regarding something. It could be something you had, had and then you lost it or you had it and it was like that on the pinnacle of losing it. And this is why no matter which one it was, it was about the value of it and the blessing of it like that because the nine of pentacles is your spiritual bank. It's also your financial bank. If we want to bring it down to the practical and the 3D is a very blessed energy is that second house, nine of pentacles regarding Taurus. Venus being the ruler, um, love, money, beauty, resources, things like that. All the things that make your life quite comfortable, that make you comfortable emotionally, mentally, and spiritually like that. So something is making its way back to you and you've most definitely learned the value of it. Also, you all have shifted your perspective. You're going to see something. I, I, I feel that, um, I don't know when this would have happened. Some of you, it could have been recent past, deeper past. It depends on you all individually and what we're actually talking about. So it could be you you lost um, sight of something. You started to see something um, differently. I don't know if something specific caused you to see it differently. This would have been happening some time ago, I feel. Now, and I don't know what we're, we're talking about. Second house matters, obviously. Now, you're, you're, you started to see something um, in a certain way that made you develop a energetic vibration that corresponds to lack like that. That would be the five of pentacles that lack mentality, the, the lack energy or creating that vibration of lack of being lost, um, mentally and energetically and creating that 3d representation of lack but you didn't create the 3d representation of lack fully because it wasn't true to the nature you were still maybe under that nine of pentacles energy but the way you were seeing things all of a sudden shifted like that that's your breakthrough you're out of that now that's why all this whatever um, is coming back to you, or you will see that you never really lost anything. You will see how much you actually have and also how, uh, how much, what you actually gained during that time period. I don't know why something wasn't true to the nature of reality for some of you. It wasn't true to the nature of reality is what I'm getting now. And remember that nine of pentacles, that second house with Taurus is abundance, attracting abundance. And you may have, because of that shift, like that, it may have caused you to see something and you may have started an alignment or association with blockages like that. I don't know if the blockages happened and your mental energy shifted, even though it wasn't true to the nature reality or the mental energy shifted and then the blockages start to happen. But in either case, they started corresponding with one another. This week, you're free of that. Some of you could already know you're free of it. You have these positive things coming back in, these positive things coming. And also you see what wasn't lost like that because you're seeing it differently. You're looking at it differently like that. Now is what I'm getting also. A lot of you also expect something positive to come back to you. Remember, Jupiter is about what we call good luck, but it's actually um, past life rewards, those types of things when you're getting rewarded from past life doings. As I stated in the beginning, March 7th, that we don't know how they're calculating um, past life reward and things like that, but you have abundance coming to you, even though Jupiter is retrograding. Taurus is going back to get something. It's going back to get what should have been a straight line before you're you had that shift and what would have been created during that time period like that, like that. I don't know what happened first, the chicken, the chicken or the egg, what came first did practical shift blockage 
or the energetic vibrational shift blockage. But in either case, Jupiter is going to get everything that would have been there if this would not have happened. Maybe it wasn't supposed to happen like that. Maybe it was an illusion. Maybe it was something that wasn't supposed to correspond with what you were supposed to experience, but you had to experience. But still, the good thing is that a great lesson was learned um, regarding it. So if whatever is coming, it can come with interest like that. But it is most definitely the good thing about it is that it, you, this is why you're changing your perspective on it. Hell, now because you're out of it and the good is rolling back in. Oh, you see the good that was still there and more good is rolling back in. You're attracting and you're still still seeing what was reality and wasn't really true to the nature of whatever happened when some type of shift happened like that. So you could be getting whatever was supposed to be there on steroids this week uh, with interest this week is what I'm getting. But you're looking at the value of it like that, of the path or that alternative path or that experience that you had. You're looking at the value of it and how it's caused you or helped you make decisions that you may not have would have made like that. Because at Nine of Pentacles with Taurus and Taurus is stubborn like that, is the bull like that. It's like fits, not moving, in comfort like that. You know, even though there could be something in the subconscious that wants to experience differently. Yeah, this is comfortable. This is comfort. Nine of Pentacles, a point of completion. But, and, it, and it's very comfortable. But, and we remember we're talking about your third 3D reality when we're talking about the second house like that. But the, the soul wanting to experience something different, a different type of comfort, maybe a more freeing comfort, maybe a, a different like that. So if this stuff would not have happened, you would not have been plays with making decisions that you've had to make that free you that allows you to enjoy that type of comfort and not have that stubbornness of Taurus um the bull semen it in you know in their comfort but and it ends there and starts there but it's comfortable but it's kind of restrictive also so because this has happened it helps you to like um go out and experience a little more that is also going to be comfortable and also going to be freeing and also going to be liberated and everything you need in order for that to happen jupiter is going to go back in whatever block despite the block it just was supposed to happen or not supposed to happen despite the chicken coming from the egg it's going to bring all those resources back so you can enjoy the comfort of your life like that okay everyone until next time thanks for watching bye